Now you are really getting somewhere. Time to learn more about wires and switches. Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel. I'm not interested so much in learning about wires and switches. You know, what you could really teach me about is audio engineering. Now that's something I'd be really interested in. Uh, but now, today, instead, I'm going to have to be forced to be interested in learning a lesson, which is lesson six. More, more about uh, basic electronics, it looks like. Uh, we've got, when you have the lightning bolt, standing on a wire turns the wire on. So we collect the wire, okay? So remember that wired flame jets change their state when their input goes from off to on. So we just take the lightning bolt, stand on here, there we go. And that is a permanent change, it would appear. So we've got some kind ooh, some kind of, uh, some Hermes shoes here. Monsters can eat blue keys. In this room, you will have to race a monster to pick up a blue key. Boy, I don't remember anything about this at all. You will not be fast enough to pick up the key without these speed boots. Okay. When you step on this trap, release, the race is on. Okay, so, and there's a little railroad track there so that the direction of the walker will not be randomized. So, wow, boy, Chip gets moving. Wow, that is, that is some, he is built for speed, so let's get it. Wow, that just barely was enough time. So blue keys are apparently edible and very tasty. So let's pick up all this, and it looks like we're going to have to sacrifice our, our good time speed shoes. Oh, that was a, that was a fun little jaunt. So now, okay, now we're getting into really weird stuff. I don't think any of this was in Chip's Challenge 1 at all. These on-off switches can send power down to the wires they are attached to. So, oh, see, here's your problem. The bear trap, actually, actually, if it can trap you, wouldn't the bear trap be on? Well, I guess that's a matter of semantics. So let's turn this door off. Okay, so, oh, here's your problem. The doll is switched to evil. So let's just uh, hit that evil switch. Red teleports that are wired can be turned on and off. Okay, so this won't work. Okay, yeah, won't work if they're not on and off. So now I go in here. That's pretty cool. I kind of dig that. Okay, so turn this one off. Turn this one on so it works here. Okay, this is... The the logic is getting uh, very interesting here. When blue teleports are wired together, you can only exit other teleports on the same circuit. Okay. Well, that makes sense. At least it's not some kind of weird randomized one. Uh... That's pretty simple to figure out, I would say. A black button. Very sharp looking. The black button output is always on unless pressed. Okay, yeah, well, I'm trying to push onto the hint because I'm an idiot. But you must turn the power off from all buttons attached to a wire for the wire to turn off. So push these three blocks onto the three buttons to turn off power to the purple toggle door. So I can do this. Doesn't really do anything. Same here. Yeah, I can do this. So a black button has to be pressed by a permanent thing sitting on it, it would look like. Let's do this, and then... There you are. Alright, nice. There, there's your problem. Your door should be nice and fine now. The vertical and horizontal outputs of black buttons are on separate circuits. Line these three blocks up vertically, and then again horizontally. Okay, so when it's horizontal, they're on the same circuit. Okay, so if I do this, 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 and a little bit of this, there we go, that opens that up, and then likewise for here. Alright, so if they're all vertical, they'll go to the thing, and then if they're all horizontal, they'll go to their own thing. That's very nice. The gray buttons change the state of things in a 5x5 five five square around them. Okay, so when you turn this on... Okay, so that turns on lots of things, depending on what's in the neighborhood. Okay. That's not too... Okay, this is a lot to remember. I hope I can... Hope I can get all of this. So there's something in the railroad tracks there. It looks like it might be dangerous. Track switches change every time something goes over them. When there is a red dot on a train track junction, it becomes a switch. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Boy, that just spit me out. Okay, well, let's get these then. Hey, the Force 4s aren't animated anymore. At least I did something right in this series. Let's, uh... Okay, let's get those then, and then down, down, down. Alright, that wasn't too hard to deduce. It looks dangerous because they look like fireballs. But I guess that's not the case. 
When a track switch is wired, it changes state when its input goes from off to on. Okay, so... Alright. So I'm gonna have to play with switches and go... So when it's wired up, it's not gonna... Oh, it is gonna change. Alright. Alright. So now we turn it off. And then we go through here. Alright. So this will take us to down here, yeah, as I surmised. And then... Press this one, and I can get those chips. There we go. All right. Not too hard to figure out, it would seem. But that's just a lesson level. It's going to be a lot tougher in practice, I guess. All right. I like the I like the no sound when you're going through the spiny more. The window sounds, there are fewer of them, and they sound better in general. It looks like we've got a whole king's ransom of treasure and booze here this is a thief bribe when you have it the thief will take the bribe instead of your tools wow look at that the, th the well look at that everybody has a weakness even the ooh hey hey there clone ship that's bizarre same thing here right here's another thief bribe to keep you from losing your red key all right but i'm gonna lose the flippers now i bet yeah no i don't lose the flippers at all it's the same if I have a bribe, I get to keep... Oh, and the blue thief doesn't take my flippers anyway. He would only take my keys, as established previously. This room has a mirror chip. He will move any time you move. He follows your lead. This button will release chip from mirror chip from his tiny cell. Well, he they say he's mirror chip, but he doesn't have a goatee, so I'm not really convinced. Try to get the mirror chip to step on this button so you can exit. All right. Sounds easy enough. All right, and okay, but then he'll move down. Let's go ahead and um, okay. I need him to move leftwards though. So, all right, go ahead and move up. Okay, so now I I think I've gotten it way off here. I am way off the thread. So. If I go down here... Oh, I made it in. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. I I actually kind of just fumbled my way through that without really seeing how it worked. Which does not bode well for when I have to do a mirror chip thing in the future. But we're at the end of the level, so Yowzer first try. There weren't too many opportunities to die there. So I think I did well enough. So let's use what we've learned today and get centralized. Feeding time! Okay, so we have to get enough blue keys to get to the exit, which is, I would say, probably... We need at least eight keys to get to the exit, but if we can get nine, then... Okay, let's see here. Let's... Let's go... Oh, wow, boy, they eat fast. It is a feeding frenzy. So, okay, does he eat the one he actually sits on top of, or... Okay... Yeah, I didn't get enough keys. How am I going to... Oh, my. This is... So, this block is going to play a factor somehow. Okay. Bummer. I did not mean to walk up into him. Oh, my word. Okay, actually, that worked out pretty well. I got eight keys right there. There is a way to get nine, and I bet they involve that block, but I do have enough to get to the exit from here. So there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and take it. Uh, it would be fun to figure out how to get that ninth. Maybe if I had pushed it up one space, maybe I would have been able to do that. But you got to race that first walker to get the majority of them, it looks like. So maybe somebody smarter than me knows how to do that. I'm sure I'll get told how. Let's move on, though, to Grab Bag. The, a single screen potpourri level, it looks like. That's a... That's fairly interesting. Uh, let's see how it goes. No, there's got to be more than that to it, right? Maybe not, though. So, okay. So, we're going this way. Fire boots. Okay, so let's get through here real quick. This is going to switch to here. And, okay, I have fire boots now. Oh, yeah, I don't have much time to complete this level either, so I got to move quickly. So let's get that blue key before a monster eats it, uh, because blue keys apparently taste delicious. Okay, okay, and four shoes, and it looks like that is pretty good. Okay, just a, just a twitch reflex level mostly, and I improved my time, so good for me. Okay, that was cute. There was a... That was a pretty busy level for a single screener. I'm I'm duly impressed. I did enjoy that one. 
boy, we are cooking with gas through these levels now. Now that we're not on a lesson, Disciple by Joshua Bone. Okay, so now I have to get him to... Looks like I have to get him to safety somehow, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get him to safety, so... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Down, down is safe. Gotta make the safe move every time. Let's bring him over this way with us. Okay, looks like he's good to go so far. Alright, and then up through here. This is pretty simple so far. Pretty easy to connect the dots through this stage. Okay, down, and just make sure you're not hitting obstacles. Uh, um, I don't think that's it. Yeah, we want to go down a little bit. And then I think maybe up, right, sure. Okay, yeah, doing good. Making our way around in a circle. This is pretty easy to feel. Okay, so how are we going to do this bit? Well, I'm not going to worry about it right now. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm just going to keep taking him. I don't think I can take him in that direction, okay. But I'm gonna keep on... I can't do that. Alright, up through here, and then... No, that seems to be... That doesn't seem to be the course of business. Oh, we want to take him to the left here, okay. Alright, uh, probably down into here then. And then once he's back there, he's safe and I can make my own way to the exit. Oh, Chip! Why did you do that? Well, I'm the only chip that matters. I'm Chip Prime. So, there we go. <laughs> that was a nice little level. That was a nice little combination of obstacles. I, I enjoyed that one as well. I'm really enjoying myself here. Doing great. Practice. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. I actually had a, when I was like nine years old, I did karate for all of like three weeks. And I had an instructor who said something. He didn't say, the only thing I ever remember him saying, he didn't say practice makes perfect. He would say practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And everyone ever I've ever told that to said, that's bullcrap. But it's, it did stick in my cross, so there is that. We have some flippers now. We don't have much time to do this. Looks like you just have to kind of know where your obstacles are. The thing was down the way here. The bear trap was, so now we get the ice cleats. It's just kind of a matter of remembering where things are, it looks like. I just saw the red key down there in the corner, so that's down this way. So, around to here. You just gotta kind of keep moving, it looks like. I love that jar opening sound. I did kind of miss that with the windows sounds. Uh, the jar opening sound of opening a lock. It's a very satisfying noise, actually. Okay, the toggle door is open. Where was that? It was over here. So now we're turning on something. It looks like it's wired to something over here. So now we turn off a fire jet. That's That was over here, right? So now we've got a switch over. Oh yeah, we're definitely using things we've learned here. Because now I'm having to drop the fire boots. I'm going to get those back. And we have a blue key now. I'm going to have to cross... Okay, that's not that's not a thing we cross yet. Uh, blue, 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 blue key. Up here. Okay. Alright, now where was the force floor? It's just a matter of remembering where things are. Okay. Yellow key. That was at the bottom of the screen, I think. Because it matched up with the railroad sign. There we go. Oh boy, now I'm going to start dropping stuff if I collect too much. Um, the railroad. Here we go. Right here. Okay. I've got the chip and I could keep going, it would seem. I'm going to go ahead and do I need the ice boots? I'm just going to go ahead. I have some time to collect things. So, well, there's this. Okay. All right. That's turned on and I think we already did that. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some bonus points. I think we've earned it. Let's go ahead. Yeah, there we go. That's not that's not too bad. And I yeah, there's no need for me to hang on to the ice boots. Looks like I looks like I've done well. I am well and truly pleased with my performance here. Not a hard level, I don't guess. Uh just uh I'm not sure what there is to practice. Just probably practice with managing a lot of 
different aspects of a level. There was stuff, I think, from every lesson in that level, if I recall right. So, uh, sort of like every level is turning into a potpourri level at this point because there's so many elements you can put into a single level in honor of our hero. Um, okay, we suddenly uh, got a little bit of whiplash. We've moved on to a more somber mood. Chip himself... Yes, the very, the man of the hour. Okay, so now, what? Oh, it's just a level that looks like Chip. That's kind of bizarre. <laughs> uh, nice little pink suit you're wearing there, Chip. Let's go through here and see what this gets us. Okay, so now we just want to run through fake walls. Hey, that wasn't too hard. So let's go, let's go up through one of these. <laughs> okay, this is an aesthetically cute level. Uh, is it actually going to be all that difficult, though? Maybe. Uh, looks like we're going around here and getting a yellow key. There was... Was there not one more chip to get in here? No, there was another yellow key, though. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so let's go back through here. Okay. What were those good for? Just getting chips? Okay. Very good. Okay, well, there's a hint right here. If we can get to it. Let's see. Was there anything on the side? Okay. How do I get into... How do I get into the shirt? How do I... How do I get down Chip's shirt here? Um... I'm missing something. Something of aesthetic. Oh, I'm missing an entire teleporter. That's what I'm missing. Like the goof that I am. Okay, here we go. We're inside now. All right, we're on the inside. We're in the stomach of Chip. In case you're wondering about Chip's eyes, he's a little dizzy from all the levels so far. Um, sure, that's a thing, I suppose. Uh, Chip has always been kind of uh, the neurotic sort. I was just kind of talking and not paying attention there. So, okay, yeah, here we go. This is... Obstacle avoidance is actually semi-easy in this level. I'm just... I just wasn't paying attention that one time. Now let's go across and get these and... Okay, yeah, let's just do all this at once. This is probably much easier. Bummer. Unless you don't pay attention to where the ball is going, like a big doofus. Okay. So now... But now I've got a pretty good sense of how to get through this pretty quickly. And it feels like the level is on a time crunch, even though I don't think that's strictly true. Okay, so let's let's look both ways before we cross the street. That's that's basic road safety, Chip. Come on now, you know better. All right, let's get in up through here. You have to be a little bit quick. The balls seem more threatening in this in this game than they did in the first one. But we only have two chips left, and it's just a straight line down here. Some busy visual elements, but. Not too bad. So, Chip is the hero. You would think he could have solved a level devoted to him in one try, but that's not really how he goes. But that was still a time improvement. So, having felt like a hero, I think we're going to stop there for today. And next time, we will move on for more Chip's Challenge 2. And hopefully, uh, I recorded this uh, with better audio strategies in mind. Hopefully this is the one that sounds good. Keep your fingers crossed.